Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running and welcome to the second episode in my mini series where we get to discuss a specific running related topic with each episode filmed at a different time of the day. And today you join me at coffee time. And as it's coffee time, well, we're talking coffee, but not just any type of coffee because today we're talking coffee that is specifically designed for runners and other sports enthusiasts. And for today's video, I'm delighted to welcome Fraser, who is a member of the Sports Barista team. Now, I first discovered Sports Barista Coffee last autumn when I was training to beat my 10K PB. And if you've been watching the videos since then, you'll know that I predominantly take coffee before a long run, a workout or a race. And I really do like it, which is why I wanted to invite Sports Barista onto the channel to help spread the word about their coffee to all you coffee lovers out there watching this. Um, and also to find out what makes their coffee ideal for runners. But that's not all. We've also got a fantastic competition for you. So stay watching till the end for your chance to win. So without further ado, let's welcome Fraser from the Sports Barista team. Hello, Fraser. Hi, Hello. Hi, Grace. How are you? I, I am very good, thank you. But I, I think as it's coffee time, why don't we yeah. have a cup of coffee now? Yeah, perfect. Why not? Here you go, Chris. Thank you. That is great. Enjoy. I am going to enjoy that. Okay, so let's get straight into the questions. And the first question I'd like to ask you is, when did you come up with the idea of a coffee that is specifically designed for runners? Hey, thanks, Chris. Uh, good question. Um, first of all, thanks for having us on your channel. No um, we came up with the concepts um, from years of myself running, um, cycling, going up mountains, long distance, and adventuring up and down mountains, etc. I always knew that caffeine was a um, coffee was a good product to or a supplement to use and take with me. Um, but always found it was pros and cons of each product that I had, and also it's expensive. Um, Uz, who's the other part of the Sports Brister, he was really into the gym and he's using a lot of bodybuilding products. And um, Matt's into golf, skiing, and um, and ice hockey. And he needed a uh, product well, that performed. And he was using the same, we're all using the same sort of products. And they were either really expensive, didn't have any um, purpose to the actual process itself. So we were finally having it, had a bit of an effect, but didn't last too long. Um, we had a friend called Roger who's got his own coffee company. And he gave us a quick education, an alien, as it were, into understanding coffee. So cupping profiles, beans, where they're grown how it was extracted and the, and the actual roasting process. And then from there, for, for a couple of years, we started just interrogating, getting different samples of coffee. And um, from there, we met a guy who's one of the UK's best roasters. And he gave us a basically like a degree in coffee. And we basically worked backwards. So we looked at most coffees are designed for taste, not for performance. So we looked at it from a complete other angle. So we looked at it from how do you make a coffee that performs? And the taste is just the, the, the end result of it. So that's how we came across what we were doing. And we eventually came across these sample packs. And then from there, um, our friends, family, everyone kept using the coffee that we were using because we kept promoting about it. And then people kept buying from us. And it turned into a business from there. And it wasn't until we all travel around, we all got our own businesses, that we realised uh, the ease of use of carrying it with you, not in bean format, but if we had it in a bag. And we saw a coffee bag, tea bags, and we realised that it's more accessible, easier to use, and you can take it with you. So that's where the concept came from, and that's how we got into having coffee bags. And so how long did it then take you from that original idea and, and going through that process till you actually got to a product? Was it, were we talking sort of months? Are we talking years? What was sort of time frame involved? So, yeah, it's, um, so throughout my life, I've always um, tried and trialled coffees. And it, it was really a case of once me, Matt and us, we all used the same products. It took a couple of years. But the idea was to try and find um, a product, a coffee that worked. And then it, once we got the concept of uh, what we were going to use, how we were going to use it, it took um, just under a year, really, to get it to be an, an actual brand. So Matt came up with the idea of Sports Bristol in about 14 minutes once we had the bag the whole process, how we're going to use it, the best way to use it. And also there's other products in the, in, in the future coming. So once we had the first flagship, the first products of what we were going to sell, um, we then, I think it was in about sort of just under a year that we end up coming up with the Sports Brister, start selling online and then advertising on Facebook. That's, um, is that, I'll say, yeah, just under a year from the, the initial, we've got the product, it works everyone's buying it from us and then from there it just got bigger and bigger and then after about just under a year 
we then thought, right, well, we have this as a side project. We've all got full-time jobs. And it's just grown from there, really. And what makes your coffee really special for runners and other sports enthusiasts? What's what's the special in- part of it that, that is a sports coffee, if you like? Okay, great question. So the problem that I always had, and uh, Matt and his also had, was the fact of all sports products out there, um, some of them do work well, they're expensive, um, but they didn't last all day. Um, they had pros and cons to them. So quite a lot of the gels, they didn't quite give you that performance that you needed. And I found with our coffee, it lasts all day. So a lot of people drink it as a normal day-to-day coffee and they can go out running or cycling or hiking. It's a really multi-purpose, like skiing, etc. cetera. Um, and what we found was it's, it outperformed everything that we ever used. Everything's on the market currently and it's half the price. Uh, a cup of coffee, you normally pay £2.80 for in a shop. Ours is technically 43p a cup. Um, and to replicate our coffee today you'd have to have like six or seven costas for instance to replicate one of our coffees and it basically it lasts you all day and also ease of use you can take it with you wherever you like so if you're going on a hike or you're going cycling for a long day or you're going for a long run you can pack it in your bag stop at any cafe get some hot water or if you've got a flask of you and you can use it wherever you like and uh, it's just ease of access and it, and it performs as well so that was the biggest the biggest thing for us was that this coffee performs, actually works. There's a big difference between our coffee and, and caffeine supplements. Um, found that the caffeine supplements did work for a short period of time, but then we needed to keep repeating the, the process of having coffee supplements and caffeine supplements, sorry. And um, found that the coffee bags really worked, and uh, that's where we got to it. So the coffee's released over a longer period of time. Is that is that the idea? Yeah, so your body can only um, absorb three to six milligrams of caffeine per um, per, ki- per kilogram. Um, so in, in a normal day, if you were to have a supplement, it would only last you for short periods of time. Where our coffee, where you the fluid ounce of it, basically, the more coffee and water, sorry, the more water you have with a, with a bag, uh, the more caffeine you consume. And because your body can only consume so much, because our bag's got 336 milligrams of caffeine, um, it's just drip fed throughout the day so you don't you don't need to keep having cups of coffee it's just you have that one coffee in the morning and it takes your body the whole day to process that that one cup um, and we do find for a study that we did we had uh let's just say 10 10 uh, testers having coffee and they went from drinking like six to eight cups of coffee a day to one one cup of coffee and uh it just performs throughout the whole day due to the fact of the behavior of the bean and uh how it works it's just the, the process that we've put the bean through has a slow release of caffeine and because it's got so much caffeine in it it lasts you all day and you sell the beans in the bag a bag of beans and then you also sell the coffee bags themselves so what's the difference do you use them for different purposes in sport or are they exactly the same or and um yeah that's the question i guess yeah, yeah okay so the, the coffee bags themselves they've um they have a more of a, a, a whole day of performance so you'd have your one coffee in the morning and with the coffee bags we found they last all day and a lot of people find it easier to use they don't all have um uh, coffee to cup machines grinders etc so the ease of use as well um especially if you're just going to work or you're going for a quick run you can take it with you so the coffee bags are really popular in terms of they're the best performing um coffee bag and bean as you can get so in that process with the bag they're, they're the best performing product um the espressos um because they're smaller it's all about the fluid out so because you've got more water with the coffee bags you're consuming more caffeine um, and it's just obviously a slower release throughout the day. The espresso beans, they're more for a quick hit. So if you're going out for a quick um, 5K, a quick bike ride, hill reps, or whatever you're doing, the, the espressos give you a more of an instant um, performance, um, but they don't last as long. So you can you can obviously filter the coffee and have it that way, but um, the espresso beans are more designed for that quick hit. You can use both. So, uh, for instance, you can have a coffee bag and then later on the day if you want to have an espresso just for a quick extra hit, you can. Um, but it's more the fact of the longevity of the bag lasts all day and the beans themselves are so just for a quick hit, a quick bit of performance. And uh, that, that's the difference really between the two. That's great. Thanks for explaining that. And the, my next question, actually, it, it relates to the sort of times we find ourselves in at the moment. Obviously, we're all in lockdown at the moment. And we don't know how long that's going to last. And that's affecting businesses in different ways. So as a small business, I thought it was relevant to ask you 
how are you impacted? Are you still able to um, produce the product, get it out there to the customers? What's the impact of the whole lockdown been on Sports Barista? Yeah, so it's been a bit of a testing time for everyone. Um, so it's, it's been, we've had an increase and the reason being is we've, I think people are getting more adapted to buying online and searching for the best coffee, et cetera. And so where we've got quite a big following and great reviews, I think people have just been buying from, from reviews and the current um, client base that we've got. Um, and it's, it's the case of, um, we, we've got subscribers as well. So the production is still going um, and we have to still commit to the people that pay for monthly subscriptions. So we've been, we've been really busy. We're, we're selling 18,000 18, coffee bags a, a month at the moment. And, um, and we're still, you know, on the first stages of this, of this company. So it's, um, we've advised people, obviously it takes a bit of time, obviously due to the, the postage and um, if we can sort of be, bear with us. But um, yeah, everything's been pretty busy. And I think it's purely down to the fact that people are uh, more sort of directed to, to buying online at the moment. Well, that's good. Um, and my final question is for the future. So what, are, what is the plans for um, Sports Barista going forward now? Yeah, okay. So we, before obviously all this, this, uh, this COVID uh, happens, um, we were started to sponsor events. The aim is really to be the number one coffee um, supplement in the um, in, in the endurance, running, cycling, skiing, hiking um, environment, um, and also products getting into sports shops. We're um, we were looking at sponsoring events, so running events um, up and down the country, triathlons, and that's where we're going with as, as a company is to really be the leading product in caffeine in the in the sporting um, industry. And uh, we're already in talks with um, big, big running companies, competitions, um, to get the brand out there, sponsoring events, sponsoring people, athletes. Um, we've got some athletes to to announce uh, later this year, when it's a bit more of a convenient time to mention it. Um, but it's really just to, to push the brand on. We're all in full time jobs, so this is what we do on the, on the side. Um, but it's slowly turning into a full time job in its own right. So it's really just to obviously support people in the community. I think um, great thing with runners and cyclists, uh, cyclists, um, and anyone that's active is everyone's sort of sticking together at the moment. And uh, our coffee's um, sort of building some bridges in that, I believe. Well, thanks so much for answering that and the rest of the questions. And I wish you best of luck for the future. Uh, but before we go, we have got a competition. You've been kind enough to offer up a prize for a competition for the viewers of the video. Um, can you just let everyone know what the prize is going to be, please? Yeah, sure. So thanks for having us again. And thanks for your time, guys. Um, basically, the um, competition is um, a month's supply of coffee bags. You get 30 of these in a box and also a £50 um, decathlon voucher. That is fantastic. And guys, just one condition you've got to know about for this competition, it is UK based only. So as long as you're UK based, you can enter the competition. Um, and all you have to do is the following things. Firstly, make sure you're subscribed to the Here We Are Running YouTube channel. And if you aren't, hit the button now to subscribe. Give the video a like whilst you're there as well. And then the other thing is to follow Sports Barista and me on our social media channels. I'll put all the links in the description below. And then very importantly, you've got to put a comment in this video. Make sure it's a nice comment, mind. And then if you do all those things, you're in with a chance of winning this fantastic prize. I will do a draw in five days time from when this video publishes. So as long as you do those things and you're UK based, you're in with a chance for winning. It'll be a random draw. If you're not lucky enough in the competition, don't worry, because you can go and try the coffee out for yourself. You can go and buy some coffee bags. Um, Fraser, just let them know if they want to buy coffee bags, what should they do? Okay, yep. if you have a, head over to our website at uh, www.sportsbrister.com, um, we have uh, the options of a 10 box, uh, which is $5.99, um, or a 30 box, which is uh, $12.99. Or if you wanted to subscribe and save, it's $9.99 for a 30 pack. Um, if you're like me and everyone nicks your coffee every month, um, there's a, a duo, a double box, basically 60 bags for $19.99. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Fraser for coming onto the channel and talking about Sports Barista and the fantastic coffee that they make. Do check that out, guys. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like. And if you're new around here, of course, why not consider subscribing for regular running content? But for now, guys, goodbye.